Flushing up these hardwood edges, uh, I've got one plane set up that fairly aggressive. It's not it's not a real aggressive, but and this is my finishing plane. I've been at this now for about uh, 30 minutes or so. I've got two left to go, but I just want to show you how quickly you can do this. You could do it with a router, but you run the risk of you know with the grain going this direction on this one, it's going this way. If I had to route against it, I'm chipping that out with a hand plane, you can control all that. This is fairly close. This is not it. And as I'm doing this, I'm making sure that the plane is tilted this direction so that I don't uh, cause a dip on that outside edge there. A couple more passes here is all. Well. And switch over. And that's it. Flip it over. And do the same thing on this side. And there it is. Well, I think that only took about three, four minutes. Got it nice and flush. I'll trim these with a trim saw. Okay, I'm ha pretty happy here. It's one of these things that you're probably never going to get a perfect. It will look perfect when it's all said and done. But at this stage, um, there's nothing I can do about it. I like these these uh, filler strips here. They, I've got a nice uh, tight fit all the way around except one. And I'll show you that here in a minute. Then the overhang is is anywhere from zero to uh, just a hair over a sixteenth which is right here let me see if I can zoom out and show you this hang on it's on this end or this part of the circle right here and then I then it comes back and right there I'm at zero. I mean I am flush. So is it this that's out around or is it this? And it's probably a combination of the two. I would guess that this is more at fault than these these individual pieces are more at fault than the than the circle, the uh, yeah the big circle itself, the two leaves. But looks good. What I need to do now is, well, I want to show you that other spot over here. Hang on, let me move this over. So you can see that that's probably, I don't know. 
I'm going to call it less than a sixteenth anyway. That'll easy, easily be filled in. I'm not, I'm not concerned about that. All the rest of them are, are tight. And um, I'm happy that I've only got one to deal with. So what I need to do now though, get this back up where it belongs. Is I've got to basically keep this in place. So I'm, I'm going to clamp it down and then I'm going to put pins in, dowel pins, try and locate them in the corners here at the same spot. Uh, I'll do my best. So I'm going to I'm going to dowel pin each piece. All right, here goes. So I've got uh, this piece clamped tight, this one clamped tight with calls on top and bottom. Then I've got my dowel jig, and I'm just eyeballing this because there's really no way to set it up. I'm going about an eighth of an inch in from the from the line, and an eighth of an inch in from the in, inner circle. You know, right at the right at this point. Then I'll bring it down and do the same thing here. So let's. Uh, just one of them things. I gotta, we gotta make a decision and do it. So here it goes. I've got my drill bit set to the proper depth so I don't punch through, uh, but I do get a maximum depth, I guess, for these pins. Okay, I'll just continue right around and uh, when I get done, before I pull all these, actually I should put pins in here before I move on. I gotta pin these to make sure that these stay put when I unclamp this. Rotate. Take, leave this clamp in place. I hope you can see that. I'm gonna leave this one in place. And I'll leave the other one in place too. I'll just get a couple more calls here and come out here and clamp this. Eventually, I'm gonna have to start. I'm moving clamps, but once I get four pins in a in a piece, I know it's not going to move. Lovely. 
So like I said, I'll come around and mark these, one through eight, and then uh, do a little sanding on the inside here. Get everything shaped up the way I want before I put these in place permanently, and then I'll run my router around the edge to true this up. Or at least make it look true. <laughs> so, uh, looking good. I like it so far. Okay, I've got all the uh, chip holders and drink holders removed. I marked both the table top and the holder so I know which position it goes in. I also pre-marked for my cup holders because I've got to, I'm going to pre-cut these as big as I can with a hole saw and then I'll use a router to um, refine that shape as well, you know, I'll flush it up. So the next order of business is just to uh, put a light sand on some of these inside edges. Um, I have to, I want to round these over the chip holder anyway. So I need to do that before I uh, attach them to the top because if I run the router in this direction, that bearing, uh, I, I don't think this is tall enough to accept the router on top and the bearing um, I think would, would be interfered with by this tabletop. So I have to flip them over and make sure that I do them numbered side up, round over the edges. I'm not going to do these. That's There's no need to do those, but uh, give those a little soft edge. So. This is the last one. I'm using a combination of these uh, dual grit, I guess I'll just call them sanding sticks. This is a 60 grit, a 120 grit. Then I go to the sandpaper at the end of uh, 80. Let's see, 80, 100, and 120. And this is probably the roughest one of them all here. I got some pretty good dips right here, but this works pretty well. You can still see a little bit of a shadow there, but I'm not going to worry about it. That's that's pretty good. So then, flip it over. And this side is not quite as bad, so same process. There you go. These inside straight edges are, are all pretty good, so I know I'm not really worried about those. Okay, I'm ready for the router table. Take these and round these over. And then uh, go from there. Now the one thing I need to be, con uh, that I am concerned about is that when I laid these out on my sheet of plywood, the grain is running pretty much in, uh, perpend perpendicular to this edge. These straight edges, it's, it's running pretty true, but I'm worried about tear out here, so I got to take it pretty, pretty nice and easy and slow to to make sure I don't rip out this top edge from that router bit. <laughs> 